It is time to talk about Notion. I am so excited for today's video because this video has been in my mind a while now and I'm finally doing it. I'm starting to form a series on my channel where, where I take a planner slash project management or note taking app and I turn it into a digital planner. And you can check out my previous videos about how to create a digital planner in OneNote and how to create a digital planner in Trello. They will be linked down in the description box as well. However, today we are going to turn Notion into a practical yet pretty digital planner. If that sounds something interesting to you, then just keep on watching. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Anna and I make videos about digital planning, life organization and time management. If that interests you in any way, subscribe to my channel and tap the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Now, let's just get right into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create templates and I'm starting off with the monthly overview. I'm adding a cover picture and then you can choose an icon and then you're gonna add the calendar like so. I'm just writing it in caps because of this calendar you'll be able to have an overview of your month to see what events schedule things you have coming up or appointments or anything important like that now I'm gonna make a goals for the month list And I'm gonna, gonna create tags as well, and the tags will be different areas of your life. So finances, career, leisure, fun, relationships, etc. etc. And with these tags, you can categorize the different goals you have written down, and you can just make it you can make it pop on the other side, as well as check boxes as well. So when you reach a goal, you can check it off. Now, I am adding an image just to make the planner look more pretty and nice to look at. I'm putting it on the right side and adjusting it. Now, next, I'm adding a toggle here adding the color, putting it up here, and then I'm going to drag and drop the goals for the month there. And the reason why I'm doing this is because this is the best way I found good for adding a pop of color for your lists and your tables and all that. Now for the monthly budget, on the left side, I am adding different categories, things that people pay for usually. We're going to add a goal budget for each category and then what we actually spent. And the table where we write down what we actually spent will be filled at the end of the month. And also you can add a section where you put labels and the labels are a good way to tell if you overspent or you're on budget and 
and then i'm also going to add a toggle for the calendar as well because i personally think the nice pops of color in the background makes things way more interesting so the next thing i'm going to add is another table and this is for the habit tracker now if you've watched my videos before you know how obsessed i am with habit trackers so of course i had to add one for this notion planner so the habits we're going to pick as examples are drinking two liters of water a day working out reading, reading at least five pages of a book and getting seven hours of sleep and we're gonna add checklists to all of them and now you just add the dates don't add the month because this is a template just add dates until the 31st and now at the very bottom you can also add so that the table will also count how many times you did each habit per month i'm going to add the gallery view and adding the templates so templates are basically checklists that i use frequently every month every week multiple times a month all that so in the monthly sheet i am going to add a monthly re review and a monthly review journal and as you can see i just write the journal questions there I'm using the third header and then I'm using divider lines as well and all I have to do at the end of the month is basically write down where the smaller text is and that's basically me journaling and at the very bottom I'm adding a picture so that picture would pop up in the gallery view and make the planner look nice Now the next thing I'm doing is a weekly overview. And of course I'm adding an icon as well for the weekly overview to be able to see what's going on in my week. I prefer the board view. This is basically the way my Trello digital planner is set up and I really love the planner and how I use it so I picked it for my notion planner as well and I'm just adding the weekdays putting them in different colors and it's as simple as that now I'm gonna create a list and this is going to be my tasks so basically how I do it is I write down all of my tasks I have for that week just in that list just whatever comes in my mind it's basically a list where I just collect all my tasks. Then I label them, prioritize them, and then I drag and drop them to the board view. And it makes things super easy. That's just a system I have and it works and it works great. But you can also just write down your tasks in the board view at the very start I just don't really like doing that because I like to see visually all of the tasks I have in total and then figuring out which should go on what day and then figuring out which should go on what weekday the 
basically I'm just showing you the examples of what kind of labels you can add and what they will look like when you add labels to your tasks. And of course, add a checkbox as well, because then you can easily check off what tasks you've already done. Now I just copied the goals for the month list from the monthly overview and I'm adding it to the weekly overview and renaming it as goals for the week. And then I'm going to add a picture on the side and a divider. And then a gallery view, which is going to be my weekly templates. Now for the weekly templates, I have a few more than my monthly templates. So of course I have my morning routine. You can let, write your list down like that. Then my night routine. And I added some nice pictures as well. Then I have my Sunday routine, which is also my weekly recap slash weekly review. There's so many different names for that. And this routine is great for making sure that you're on track with your goals. And you're also reviewing how you did this week and how you can be better next week. And also preparing for the new week, I think everyone should do it even if it's a little small routine it doesn't have to be a very big one i prefer mine to be pretty big because sundays for me are the perfect days to prepare Then I am creating my planning routine and you can basically have the same one as me. Planning routines can be very different because everyone's planning style or routine or workflow is different. You just figure out what works for you the best. I'm just giving you some inspiration and show you how I do it. And you can try to do how I do things and then you can just tweak over time what works best for you. Then I have my weekly cleaning routine. You can also create a monthly cleaning routine in your monthly overview sheet. That's a really good idea as well. Just so you don't have to think about what to do exactly, you're just following a list. And then of course, after all the cleaning and planning is done on the Sunday, 
I finish it off with a self-care routine. Now in this summer templates look, they're it looks very cute, I think. And now I have some extra space here. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to add a section here where I can write my quote of the week. And that's basically how I do it. Now, hopefully this video has inspired you to use Notion for the first time, or if you're an existing Notion user, I hope this gave you some inspiration. Give it a like and share if it did. Now, everything I've mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description box below. Let me know in the comments if there is any note-taking app or planner slash project management app that you would like me to turn into a digital planner. I love discovering new apps. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao!